Yeah, <clears throat> Belleville and Middleton, two inches of rain. That is a ton of rain. A lot of people were asking me, you know, what if this was snow? Yeah, it'd be 20 to 25 inches of snow. Not possible. Well, it is, I guess, possible, but it's much easier to get two inches of rain than snow. Warmer temperatures hold higher moisture. Remember that. So this is a lot of rain, though, still for late February. Uh, this is going to be high amounts of rain totals. You're talking about uh, two inches. That's the monthly average in winter for the entire month of precipitation. Belleville, Middleton, there was most of the heaviest rain was actually around Madison. You'll see Monona close to two inches, Black Earth. 1.7. Madison came in at 1.4. You go down towards even Lancaster, uh, Jefferson County. We were all getting rain here. A little bit less. You went up to the north here, but I think Portage is maybe a little bit higher here, but uh, pretty much an inch everywhere. And they're still adding things up. I bet you they were around an inch to wrap it up in Portage and Camp Douglas, but quite a bit of rain. Madison area seemed a little bit higher. That was that inch and a half to two inches. Rain got you on the, in the spring fever. This is a magical day. Three weeks. Can you last three weeks? The, what's happening over the past, I'd say, week to the next week is a huge transition. And I'm sure you know this, but temperatures, the average high, will climb from the 20s to the 40s during that span. So you're going to be seeing the biggest change happening right now. We're in the midst of it. And of course, we're talking about it and we have heavy rain. That doesn't mean you can't have snow. That just means the warmth is going to be more common. 35 degrees, northwest winds at 12 miles per hour. The winds are going to gust up to 20 for a little while here. We'll stay a little breezy. Despite the nice northwest wind, there's no cold air. I look, you have to look behind. So you have a northwest wind, and then what you do is you look behind it. So I want to look in northern Wisconsin. Not cold. It's not cold. So you, even with the northwest wind, you have to drive in cold air. And we don't have that today. So you can see the winds are out of the north at 10 to 15 miles per hour. And we will be able to drop below freezing, and that is a concern. I mean, there's so much water out there. You had melting snow and you had all that rain today. So be very careful tomorrow morning, uh, especially if you have little kids, elderly. Just be cautious. Those sidewalks are going to be tough tomorrow because we will hit 30, which is enough to free freeze. Snow is going on in Green Bay right now, but we're pretty much done with our rain. Maybe a couple sprinkles out there. Still cloudy skies. Tomorrow we take a little break. That is your tomorrow. Get some sunshine and then you also see, yes, your tomorrow will also include so mixed precipitation, sunshine, mix at night. And yes, it's sometimes that easy. Just look west. So we'll start to see that. Uh, we'll start to see rain pick up maybe in a Wednesday morning, uh, late Tuesday and a Wednesday morning. But I'm watching about this low. Look how that low positions pushes most of that snow to our north. We could actually see pretty warm conditions under that low with southwest winds. So cloud cover hangs tough through about four or five and then clears tomorrow morning. You get lots of sunshine during the day. Then we see the mix come in around 7 to midnight, like I said, but then that snow will push to the north on your Wednesday. Temperature wise, we will drop below freezing tomorrow morning, but that should remelt and hopefully stay melted into Wednesday. Wednesday is going to be your warmest day with that southwest wind. I've got 50 in Janesville. I haven't pulled the trigger yet here in Madison on Wednesday, but it is possible. I just think most of the day will be in the upper 40s. Still pretty mild week. Don't see any major snowstorms. Maybe Friday we could see a chance. I'd still put only about 20% at this point. So that means early March you expect big snowstorms. We'll mm. have to see. This is like a little taste of spring though. I feel I like know. the rainy, the warmer rainy days. Feels like it, it feels right. This winter has been like eight inches of snow, yeah. melt in three days. Eight inches of snow, melt in three days. So here yeah. we go again. Yeah, here it is.